Hi, in this video, I want to show you this generator. This is the Duralstar DS4000S. This is the instruction manual it comes with. And I'm gonna show you how to turn it on. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure it has gas. So this is where the gas goes. So when you buy this, you will need to get gas for your generator. And then down over here, the generator uses oil. So this is where the oil goes in the generator right here, okay? And now let's go through the steps of turning it on. I actually haven't turned this on in a long time. It's been sitting here for a while. So we're gonna find out if it still works. So the first step is to turn the breaker off. So the breaker is over here. It's currently in the on position, that's off. So step one, turn breaker off. And that's in the direction, so don't worry. I'm using the directions because this is our backup generator and we don't really use it unless there's an emergency. So turn breaker off. Next thing you wanna do is turn the gas valve on. That's over here on the side. So let me show you. So right now it's off, that's on. So gas valve on, okay? Next thing you wanna do is close the choke. That's down over here. So right now it's open, close, close the choke, okay? Next thing you wanna do is flip the engine switch to on. It's over here. So this is the engine switch. It's currently off, on. And the next thing we want to do is pull this recoil to start, okay? And then you open the choke after you do that, okay? And then turn breaker on and connect devices. So pull recoil to start. It's gonna get loud here. Open the choke, which is right here. Turn breaker on and connect devices. So the breaker is on. And now we're gonna connect this fan to make sure it works. There we go. So everything works okay. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. It's very loud. So you see it does actually work and that's pretty impressive because it hasn't been turned on in quite some time. Um, we keep it here in the garage and it's uh, a pretty good generator so far. We've had to use it once or twice when we lost power and so far so good. So it's a good backup generator. Again, this particular model is the DS4000S. Um, there are better generators um, you can buy. Uh, this one is a good one, I think, for our purposes because we're not using it all the time. As far as picking it up, it's pretty heavy. I can pick it up by myself, but I really think it's better to have two people when picking it up. So, pretty good generator. Uh, it's got a couple switches here. Let me show you some of the connections it has. So, you have some connections here, some connections here. It's got a voltmeter. Um, and yeah, simple and efficient. Uh, it's loud. I don't know if you heard how loud that was. It was very, very loud. So I didn't want to leave it on for too long because it's quite loud. You're supposed to use these outdoors. Right now, uh, we're in a garage and it's open. Um, however, I can still smell the gas a little bit. So I, I would definitely suggest um, using this outside and not indoors. I can kind of smell the gas a little bit. Even though the garage door is open, uh, I can kind of smell it. So. It comes with this manual which tells you how to do it. I, you saw I followed the manual uh, pretty much exactly in this video to show you how to turn it on. Um, I like it, it works. There's better generators, but this one's pretty good and I like it. Hopefully after watching this video, you can decide if this is a good generator for you. I like it, uh, we've had it. I like it enough to buy it, so I'm happy with it. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.